What's up, people? It's Mark Tony for Card Runners EV for Sitting Ghost Part 2. Today we're going to go to Advanced Post Flop Analysis, and I tell you, it's going to be pretty darn advanced. So, we're going to use a actual hand that I played today. We're like pre last time we learned how to input stuff manually here. That's a pain in the ass. Usually, uh, what I, how I usually use this myself is I go through tons of hands when I review them. Da -da 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 I replay them all, and whenever I run into a really, really interesting spot, I plug it into Cardrunner's EV and take it from there. That's exactly what happened with this Ace-8 hand here. So we right-click and we replay selected hands, and we get rid of this holder manager window here. So here we are, seven-handed. This is an 18 man, uh, 15 dollar 18 man, I believe. Played fairly recently. I don't really know anyone else at the table except, well, these three guys actually. <laughs> so anyway, I'm under the gun with the almighty Ace Eight offsuit. So I do open. I make uh, make it 210. Everyone falls except the big blind. He flats. I hit top pair, top kicker, which is pretty good for us. On a board like this, it's fairly coordinated, so there's tons of draws that we're going to get value from, and it's like, here we already decide that uh, under no circumstance am I folding, not folding, check raises, whatever. So, I make, uh, he checks, I make a C-bet, a little under half pot, with the intention of betting three streets pretty small. Turn to jack, blank, unless he had a jack, High or some sort of a flush draw with a jack. Yeah, well, I'm behind. I'm past the point of no return. So he checks again, which is like, hi, I have a draw. I have either a flush draw or a straight draw the vast majority of the time. So we're going to put him at a draw here. So now I did, the way I played it here was that I bet really small and he called and then I bet the blank river and uh, yeah, he checked, I bet and he falls. So what why I marked this was I started thinking on the turn, hmm, should I jam this or should I bet small and and then reevaluate the river? And while it probably with these stack sizes doesn't really make a huge difference, then what if this what if we were deeper? Like what is the difference of jamming here and risking him actually folding some sort of a draw? Or betting just small and ensuring that he's going to stick around with a flush draw or a straight draw like no one with a flush draw or a gut or any kind of a straight draw is really going to fall to a bet this small and I, and since I'm committed already anyway it doesn't really matter what he does from here in my point of view I'm just going to get it in anyway so yeah that's uh, that's what I started thinking and this is what card under EV is really really good for so what we do is um, we Take the hand, we right click, we copy the hand to clipboard, and we get rid of these windows. And then, here's the magic button, import. We paste the hand history here, make sure that it's the right room, I played this on Pokestars. So we hit OK. And then, we read the board until the turn, this is important. We don't leave the board random, we don't leave, we read the, because in the, the turn decision is what we wanted to know stuff about. We hit OK, and then uh, none, of the, none of the other guys are going to be involved in the hand, so we we don't check any of these boxes. We hit Next, and this hand has been identified as a tournament. Are there currently more than one tables going? Yes, there's another table going. Yes, yes, there is. It's an 18 man. So we say yes, and we say that there's 18 buy-ins in the prize pool. The tournament buy-ins is, buy is 1389, and how many people are left at the tournament? So we had seven here. So, we're going to say that we don't really care whether there's six or seven people left at the other table. It makes absolutely no difference whatsoever at this point. So, we're just going to say that in total, there are 14 people left. It could be 13, and nothing would really, really change. And the starting stacks were 1,500. These are just to get the ICM right. Okay, and we hit next. And here's the tree from the beginning to to the end as it was played and the board is read until the turn 